Hello, my name is Eva. Welcome to the channel. Today we we're talking about this ukulele and the story of how it came into my life. So roughly 10 years ago, when I was in grade 10, or about 15 years old, my father, seeking to connect with me, asked, Eva, what do you want for Christmas? And me, being the brat that I have been known to be, said, I want to go to Hawaii. And my dad went, okay. We went to Maui, and I had two goals. Goal number one was get a real a real ukulele, not a touristy plastic mini one, a real one for me. The second thing is that I needed to see if the ladies in the LDS church in Maui wore dresses that covered their shoulders and their knees. I needed to know this because in my LDS church, the ward I was in, they said that everyone across the world, regardless of like environmental factors, wore the same garb in order to preserve their modesty. And this just seemed wildly impractical to me. So I needed to know, I needed to see it for myself. So I did go to a service while I was there. My father thought it was very strange that I wanted to waste like one of the eight days we were there going to a church on the other side of the island. But he respected my, my beliefs, I guess, at the time. And he was like, all right, if you have to do it, you have to do it. I will make sure you get to church. And I'm like, all right, thanks dad. I went to that church and they were not, in fact, wearing sleeved dresses down past the knee with cleavage coverage. They were just wearing whatever the hell they wanted because it's really hot there and that's what makes sense to do is wear less clothing. I was lied to by a church. Who would have guessed? <laughs> One of the million reasons why I'm no longer a member. The story is about this ukulele though. That was just a strong detour. All right, so the ukulele. So we're in Maui and I go, dad, I really need this ukulele. I need it. And he's like, all right, if you promise that like you're actually going to play it because you're really bad at the guitar and you don't put a lot of effort in. He's like, no, dad, I'm really, I'm going to do it. So he tries to buy me like a tourist $20 ukulele. And I'm like, no, dad, that's not a real instrument. That's just a dinky little thing that sounds like garbage that you can never tune. I want a real one. And he's like, all right, kid, you better play this thing. Let's go find you a ukulele. Now, I just looked up how much this costs, and it's only about 125 bucks Canadian. But, I mean, I'm sure there were other things he wanted to spend $125 on while we were in a different country. And he chose to buy me a ukulele, uh, which I still play. Badly, but I still play it. I'm not good at this instrument. The last part of this tale, before I get distracted, is that if you do not declare a musical instrument as a lumber product... Well, you are crossing into the Canadian country, our border, uh, the agents there will start asking you difficult questions about why you lied on your manifest and uh, what you're intending to do with your now illegal import. And you say something like, I didn't know. Please don't get mad at me. Because you're 15 and scared. Ultimately, they're like, okay, in the future, just mark off that you have a, a lumber product if you're bringing an instrument. And I was like, all right, I will do that. I didn't know this was going to be a problem. I'm 15. Please don't yell at me. I'm scared of you. And obviously, I, I have the ukulele. It's all fine. The lesson here is if you are coming into Canada and you have a wood product instrument, declare that you have one because they get real mad if you don't. And it takes a long time in Vancouver to figure out what's going on. Yeah, that's the story of the ukulele. I don't know why I wanted to share this today, but I did. One of the best things with the ukulele is that nobody cares if you're bad at playing it. People are just happy that it sounds so, you know, chill. It's got vibes. It's got feeling. And it's chill. Uh, if you play the violin very poorly, people get mad at you. Like They, they will physically come and tell you, like... Hey, Eva, you're bad at the violin. And I'm like, I know that. But nobody's ever yelled at me for being bad at the ukulele. This has been a very distracted and kind of scramble brain kind of video. But I told the tale I came to tell. I hope that it has in some way augmented your day. If only as a warning not to accidentally lie to your government when you're bringing an instrument into the country. Ta-da! I've been Eva. Hope you liked the video. I will see you another time.